sum of first n terms of an AP. Consider the following sequence 2, 4, 6, 8. The sum of first two terms is 2 plus 4, that is 6. The sum of first three terms is 2 plus 4 plus 6, that is 12. The sum of first four terms is 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, that is 20, and so on. But when someone asks me the sum of the first 50 terms, I was confused in the calculation. Then I found a formula that made my work easy, which is S of n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into b or S of n is equal to n a into n into n minus 1 into d upon 2. We have seen what all other terms mean. S n is sum of all elements till nth position. Now let's see practice set 3.3. Question 6. Sum of first 55 terms in an AP is 3300. Find its 28th term. Solution. It is given that S of 55 is 3300. We know that S of n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So putting the value S of 55 is equal to 55 upon 2 into 2a plus 55 minus 1 into d. We know the value of S55 as 3300. Substituting, we get 3300 is equal to 55 by 2 into 2a plus 54d. On solving, we get the equation as 60 is equal to a plus 28 minus 1 into d. As we know, t of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, t of 28 is 60. Hence, its 28th term is 60. Question 7. In an AP, sum of three consecutive terms is 27 and their product is 504. Find the terms. Solution. Assume that the three consecutive terms in an AP are A minus D, A, A plus D. It is given that sum of three consecutive terms is 27 and product of three consecutive terms are 504. Therefore, A minus D plus A plus A plus D is 27. After solving this left hand side, we get 3A is equal to 27. Therefore, A becomes 9. Also, we have been given A minus D into A into A plus D is 504. Therefore, after substituting the value of A, we get 9 minus D into 9 into 9 plus D that is 504. After solving the LHS equation, we get 81 minus d square is equal to 56. Therefore, d square is 81 minus 56. We get d as plus minus 5. Therefore, when d is equal to 5, the terms are 4, 9, 14. And when d is equal to minus 5, the terms are 14, 9 and 4. Question 8. Find 4 consecutive terms in an AP whose sum is 12 and sum of third and fourth term is 14. Solution. Assume that the four consecutive terms in an AP are a minus d, a, a plus d, a plus 2d. It is given that sum of four consecutive terms is equal to 12. Sum of third and fourth term is equal to 14. Therefore, a minus d plus a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d is equal to 12. Therefore, 4a plus 2d is equal to 12. Therefore, after solving, we get the first equation as 2a is equal to 6 minus d. According to the next given condition, a plus d plus a plus 2d is equal to 14. Therefore, 2a plus 3d is equal to 14. 6 minus d plus 3d is equal to 14. From equation 1. Therefore, on further solving, we get the value of d as 4. Putting the value of d in equation 1, we get 2a is equal to 6 minus d. And after solving, we get the value of a as 1. Hence, the terms are minus 3, 1, 5 and 9. Question 9. If the 9th term of an AP is 0, then show that the 29th term is twice the 19th term. Solution. It is given that a of 9 is equal to 0. Now, t of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, t of 9 is equal to a plus 9 minus 1 into d. 
zero is equal to a plus eight d, and therefore a becomes minus eight d. We'll name this as equation one. T of twenty nine is equal to a plus twenty nine minus one into d. That is minus eight d plus twenty eight d. Therefore, T of twenty nine is equal to twenty d. We'll name this equation as two. Therefore, T of nineteen is equal to a plus nineteen minus one into d. After solving, we get T of nineteen as ten d. We'll name this as equation three. Now see, from equation two and three, we get t of twenty nine is equal to twice of t of nineteen. Hence, the twenty ninth term is twice the nineteenth term. All the solution of the exercise is provided in the description. The above thought are the most difficult sums. Thank you for watching the academy squad.